Today we'll be making some nitrocellulose. Disclaimer, this video was made for educational purposes only. But first, what is nitrocellulose? Nitrocellulose is the nitrogen version of cellulose. Nitrations are when a nitro group attaches to a hydroxyl group. Nitrocellulose also used to be used to make celluloids, used in film and other plastics. Since I don't have any nitric acid, I'll be using nitration mixture to make the nitrocellulose. Now I can make the nitration mixture. I added 40 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid to the mixture and slowly added the KNO3. I added all the KNO3 until it was fully dissolved and then I let it stand there for about five minutes. And to keep the temperature down, always remember to top of the ice and salt. <coughs> and now for the fun part, we're adding the cellulose to the nitration mixture. I'm using a glass server to push it down, but you can also use some stainless steel if you'd like. If you start doing this when the nitration mixture is too hot, the sulfuric acid will start reacting with the cellulose and it will be ruined. And now take the 10 milliliters of the sulfuric acid that remain and add it to this mixture. If you added too much cotton, then not all the nitration mixture will manage to soak into it. 30 minutes later and this is how it looks. We won't be needing the ice bath anymore, so you can put it away, and in the meanwhile, you can prepare a cup of distilled water and sodium bicarbonate solution. Ionized water would work best, but since I don't have any, I'll just use some distilled water. We're using the sodium bicarbonate solution to neutralize the mixture. The pH using a pH indicator. You can use phenophthalene, but I just use a pH paper. Also, try to get it as close to 7 as possible. As you can see, the pH is quite high. A pH of 3 is extremely acidic. I neutralize it off camera with some more sodium bicarbonate. As you can see, the mixture will slowly start floating up, and that's exactly what we want not to force it, not to break any of that nice, nice nitrocellulose. When the solution is bubbling, that means that the sodium bicarbonate is doing its thing, neutralizing the mixture. Make sure to not add too much at once, otherwise, it'll bubble over, as you can see. This is how it looked after taking it out of the mixture. I dried the nitrocellulose on a piece of paper, and this is how it looks after I dried it. And here are some tests. The stir rod there to show that it doesn't move anything. Hey, thanks for watching. That's uh, all to this video. Hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one.